let's talk about uh, conversion. Avram Vinu represents uh, the ideal convert. There's a teaching in the Talmud, there's also a shir by Rabbi Barachim about this, you can find it online, that in the times of uh, King Solomon, for example, and King David, when the Jewish people were on top, the sages did not accept converts. Why? Because they uh, assumed that such people willing to join the Amis role at that point were doing it for ulterior motives. They weren't doing it with Shem Shemayim. Now, it's very important. The Torah gave us many commandments to love the stranger. I'm not talking about, let's say, Erev Rav. What's the difference between Erev Rav and individuals? Erev Rav is a rabble. They're not all vetted, like what happened at the Exodus. There was a the It was a big hurry. They didn't have time to prepare proper food. Erev Rav a whole mixed multitude went up with them. And uh, conceptually speaking, the Erev Rav still affects us nowadays. We're not talking about that. We're talking about individual converts uh, in, I guess, the model of Jethro. Moses' own father-in-law. Individuals who are sincere and join us uh, deserve our respect and, of course, our love. They get preferential treatment because they have given up basically everything in order to accept the Torah or accept it upon themselves to convert to Judaism. That's, uh, we, could, we could give them an especial assumption of sincerity. Why? Because, uh, like the halacha says, before the conversion, the candidate for conversion is told by the I guess the administering rabbis, you know, uh, the Amisrael, they're the Jewish people are persecuted. They're, it's not exactly a good thing to be a Jew. You take this upon yourself. You're throwing, you're, you're casting your lot with those who are basically hated, despised, and uh, murdered whenever people get the chance. So at this time in history, and especially around the world, someone converting to Judaism, deciding it despite the fact that. There is all sorts of crazy anti-Semitism going on around the world, active anti-Semitism. If someone accepts Judaism today, so you know that those people are sincere. We have to remember, you know, converts deserve our love. They've given up everything. Avram Vinu himself, was, uh, he made that choice. That's one of his greatest tests. To leave his family, leave his, leave his place, leave his father's house, and uh, leave what he felt... Um, it says, what do I mean leaving strange gods? I'm Ravino, of course, was a, was a monotheist. When someone leaves their foreign gods, it means they're leaving the, their pride. They're leaving their, like, the sense of national pride. They're leaving also a sense of national comfort. That's what gods used to mean to people back then. And even now, some people take comfort in their avodazara. So that's a very difficult thing to do. And uh, we applaud them and we care for them.